Tarzan of the Apes, from the novels by Edgar Rice Burroughs, with Mr. James H. Pierce as Tarzan and Miss Joanne Burroughs as Jane Porter. This is an American Gold Seal production released by the World Broadcasting System and Associated Stations. Tarzan returns to his native jungle after rescuing Professor Potter, Jane Potter, and their party from cannibals. However, he learns that pirates have landed and have abducted Jane. Tarzan again comes to the fact that the hut in the clearing and finds that their boat has been smashed. Learning Jane is aboard the pirate ship, Tarzan, alone, swims out to rescue her. Jane lowers a rope made of sheets, and Tarzan gains her cabin. One of the sailors comes to Jane's cabin and is about to enter. Now, are you ready? Hold your breath. Well, you won't come out, all right? Well, I'm coming in after you. Get ready, Tarzan. He's coming. Come along, lady. That's what you know. Can you tie him up, Tarzan? Here, you have no grass rope. I'll pull up these sheets that you used to tie a board with. No need to do that. Why not? We don't want him to get away. Tarzan, Ganny, no more. You mean, you mean his no? Yes. Oh, you shouldn't have done that. I only meant you to capture him. Tarzan, Ganny, no good. He would hurt Jane. Yes, yes, I suppose so. Oh, dear. Well, it's done now. The next thing is to get off the boat. We get off. Yes. Did I see you, Tarzan, when you were swimming out to the ship? No. I then swim way up past the ship. Come to it from seaside. Tom and Ganny all look at shore. Do, do Father and Mr. Clayton know that I'm out here on this ship? Yes. King said you're out here. Why did King tell you? I make him tell. Miss Potter. Yes, Captain. I, I can't help hearing what you're saying. Are you, are you talking to the man of the jungle who saved me from the Chinaman? Yes. Here's Tarzan of the Ape. But is he the same one who came back the train? Yes, Captain, the same one. But, Miss Porter, that man could speak no English. Yes, Captain, I know he couldn't. It would take a long time to explain it to you. But I taught Tarzan to speak English. Well, then, if he understands it now, I want to thank him for what he did for me then. Tarzan. Captain Tarzan, hmm? Captain Tracy, the man whom you saved when we first landed here, is thanking you. Tall man? Yes, Tarzan. He was captain of the ship. I liked him. I helped him. Tarzan, you saved my life. If there's ever anything I can do for you, just ask it. And if it's in my power, I shall do it for you. I don't think Tarzan will understand. Tell me, Captain Tracy, can we get into your cabin? I'm afraid not, Miss Porter. The door is locked, and I'm tied hand and foot. Isn't there some way we might break in the door? I don't think so. It's a pretty strong door. Well, we'll come and look at it. Shh. Listen. What? I don't hear anything. Somebody come. Snipes is probably sending someone to see what happened to the man he sent down here before. Tarzan ready. Jane, ask him to come inside. Yes, yes. All right. Ready. Hi, Jonesy. You in there? No. Jonesy isn't here. None of your sailors are here. Well, perhaps what you want it, miss, so come along. No. Well, I'm all sorry, miss. I don't like messing with dames myself, but I said it was to bring you along. On the shore, Clayton, Dono, Francois, and Philander worked feverishly to repair the boat destroyed by snipes. Some more of that, that glue or whatever you call it, Dono. No, I think not, monsieur. I, I believe we have enough. You'd better sit down there by the professor. You've been going at it a little too strenuous. I'm tired. But the worry over Jane... Sit down, Philander. Oh, if only I could do something. But my legs get under me whenever I try to do anything. You should be in bed. Uh, perhaps, Philander. Uh, but that would keep you from assisting Clayton and Downlow. Uh, Clayton. Uh, Clayton, nail this down here. Right. I, I don't understand the, well, the lack of noise from the ship. If Tarzan had got aboard, we surely would have heard something. I hate to think of it. Francois crawled over the headland this morning. He said there was not a sign of anything unusual except that they seemed to be preparing to sail. Oui, monsieur, that is right. Then, you think that Tarzan may not have reached the ship? Sharks, out where the water is colder. And even if he did rescue Jane, they'd have that to contend with on the way back. Yes, 
That is why I am so anxious to get the boat fixed as quickly as possible. If Tarzan does rescue Mademoiselle Jane, then if we get out there with the boat, we can bring them in. Well, he may have reached the ship, all right. I am hoping, but it is a slender hope. Uh, I feel rested. Anything I can do now? Uh, yes, Phil, on there. Uh, that oar, the broken one there. If you can splice it uh, or bind it, it will be short, but it will sell. Better let me do that. I've whipped many a cricket bat. Uh, bien, Fessa. Then, uh, Phil, on there, nail on these staves from that old barrel. Above the canvas? On the outside, yes. Uh, nail them to the ribs. We shall have to bail, but more than no, we shall sail her. What are we going to do with Potter? Alas, I am thinking of that same thing. We can't leave him here to look after King. That would be foolish. Yes, you have right. But we cannot leave the professor by himself. And to leave you, Monsieur Filon, dear. No, no, you are too valuable. Uh, how long? How long? If I'm too anxious, I, I cannot help it. This, this wondering what is happening to Jane, I, I can't contain myself. Uh, not very much longer, Monsieur Le Professeur. Uh, no, I'm afraid I will not be able to help with the rowing. But, but I can hold a rifle. But Archimedes, you cannot go without... The... I, 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 I cannot go? Do uh, you think I can remain behind here with Jane out there? No, no, Professor. Don't get yourself all worked up. Uh, I'm determined. My mind is made up. I'm going. If we are alone, monsieur, what shall we do? Let's finish fixing the boat. Then we can argue. Back on the ship, Arrow, Snipe's henchman steps through the cabin door. Come on, monsieur! Tarzan's white like fingers close on the mutineer's throat, and the sentence is never finished. Jane Porter covers her face with her hands as Tarzan picks the man bodily from the deck. Oh, Tarzan, I, I hate this. All over now. What we do with him? Put in water? No, let them both lie here. Wait, I'll get their guns. Tarzan, help. No, I have them. Two revolvers, fully loaded. We'll need them. We'll go on deck. On deck? Oh, of course. You've never been in a ship before. Up, upstairs, above. That's it, above. We'd better get out. Snipes will come as soon as he's found out what's happened. Snipes? I've come, as I'm killed. Yes, but if I know Snipes, he won't come alone. Not if he is suspicious. Perhaps we'd better try and free Captain Tracy. Captain Tracy! Yes? We're going to try to open your door. I'm afraid you won't be able to do anything. I'm in the professor's spare room. Well, we'll try. We're leaving the cabin now. Uh, good luck. I'm, I'm afraid that Captain Tracy's right, Tarzan. We won't be able to open this door without too much noise. No, no, can't move it. The door is locked with a key. Tarzan, break. I'm afraid not, Tarzan. The door is steel. Steel? Yes, it's painted to look like wood. But listen. We've got to hide. Come, this way. Get here, Tarzan. We'll wait until the passage is clear. Carmen, Ganny, go other way. Yes, we can try to get on the upper deck now. Tarzan, Jane, go up above. I don't know whether we should yet or not. Carmen, Ganny, pull up big stone from front of ship. Stone? Then they may pull up the anchor. Anchor? Oh, they must be planning to sail. We've got to get out of here before they leave. Here, we can go up. A companionway, yes. I guess we'd better get on deck. Stop, Tarzan. We can see the men on the deck from here. Stay in the shadow of the companionway. What Carmen and Ganny do standing by round things? That's the way, Tarzan. Swimming. That's the thing that steers the ship. Steers? Yes. It makes the ship go. Oh, that isn't exactly right. But I'll explain it later. Makes ships go. Hmm. Too many Tom and Ganny, Jane. No can take Jane into water. Tom and Ganny shoot. We'll have to wait until they stop moving around. What is that rope that goes up tree on ship? The trim? Oh, the mast. That, that's ribbon, Tarzan. Tarzan, climb that with rope. I can pull up Tom and Ganny. I saw coils of rope when we came up that companionway. Maybe we can find one there. Come. You're here, Tarzan. Get covered. I don't know its proper name. Ah, this one, good rope. Well, there's a temple up there in the ribbon of Tarzan. Now it's getting dark, and it's not like the trail, you know. Tarzan, all right. Jane Hyde, what? 
Not cry out. I won't cry out. I'll hide in the shadow of that companionway hood. All right. Go now. You've got the rope already? Yes. Now, Jane, no more talk. Tie down the door. Come back quick. All right. Jane, stay here. Hide. I take Tom and Gunny to make ship go. What? Jane watches Tarzan climb hand over hand up the shrouds. The sea is becoming rough. The mast swirls like a ghostly pendulum. Up, up he goes. Except for the fitful glimmer of light as the focusal door swings, the deck is dark. Tarzan, barely discernible, swings into the rigging. Sneak like the rope whips from his hand and settles over the quartermaster's head. The startled scream dies in the man's throat as his hand sucks convulsively at the rope. The wheel spins over. The rudder crashes against the hull. A rending shudder runs over the whole length of the ship. Jane escape in the con-